Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be starting off our Easter bath bomb demos with the Flamingo Egg Bath Bomb from Lush Cosmetics. So the three main ingredients in this bath bomb are coarse sea salt, very very oil and Sicilian lemon oil. So the scent for the Flamingo Egg is apparently the same scent as what the Elfie Stick was from Christmas time, which was a bubble bar actually. It's sweet and kind of fruity, sort of candy, not as sweet as Snow Fairy whatsoever, but it does kind of have a little bit of a sweet side. However, to me, I kind of more smelt kind of like a woodsy sort of note, but more in the forefront, like it was kind of woodsy and then right at the end it was kind of a little bit sweet to me. But I absolutely adored the design of this bath bomb. I loved the pink and the blue and those little sea salt bits on top that are kind of colored. It looks sort of like a geode and I just thought that was so super cute. And I knew that the pink and the blue was going to make purple bath water. So of course this one definitely made it into my cart. I had to do a demo of this one this year and I'm so glad that I did. I really enjoyed this bath bomb. It actually took a really, really long time to dissolve in the tub as well. It was sort of a slow foamer kind of bath bomb. Because, you know, sometimes you have your fizzes and then sometimes you have your foamers and then there's other bath bombs that uh, maybe half of it will foam and half of it will fizz. Like, do you know what I mean? If you've used a lot of Lush bath bombs, then I'm sure you know what I mean. So this one was definitely a fun one to watch. It was actually kind of relaxing to just kind of sit there on the edge of the tub watching this kind of do its thing. The only thing that I wasn't 100% a fan of was the scent of this bath bomb. Just because of those woodsy factors, I really wasn't expecting it. Another thing is my toes and my fingertips went pink. Now, I actually think it's really funny when my skin changes color from bath bombs, so that actually doesn't affect me whatsoever. But if you guys are one of those people that doesn't like your skin to go pink, then you should probably either make sure that your water ratio is really high in comparison to the bath bomb or just maybe give this particular bath bomb a skip this year. But anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's demo and review and I hope that you're looking forward to more Easter bath bomb demos between now and Easter. And please do consider subscribing if you haven't already as well as clicking on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video. And if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to click the like button, it really helps me out. And let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very, very, very much for watching and until next time. Bye-bye.